What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we got several different topics we're going to be talking about in this video today. We'll be talking about Scream 6 once again. We'll be talking about The Nun 2. We'll be talking about the Terminator franchise. And then we'll round it out by talking about this update on The Purge 6, which is still in development, I guess. Nothing's officially been greenlit by Universal Pictures. Uh, just to kick it off though with Scream 6, Scream 6 is seemingly going to continue the streak by having this film be rated R like some of the other ones have been rated R. Now, this was something pointed out to me by K, so shout out to UK. The official Scream account on Twitter put out this clip of the subway, I believe it's also on Instagram a couple days back, showing a sequence of the subway from the teaser, and in the far bottom left corner, the capital bold R that you would see from the MPAA can be seen. It's, it's in like the bottom left corner of this clip now this account has also made a reddit page so if you want to go interact with them on reddit if you like to go do that scream 6 being rated r isn't shocking at all but i haven't seen it listed by the mpaa just yet either there is an official release they put out this week for a slay or for for the upcoming slate of films and scream 6 was not listed there however again this teaser that was released last week and now what the official twitter account has done is taken a clip of that and they've put the the r in the bottom left corner so they know they have an r rating it just has yet to be announced by the mpaa so i guess we should all go into this expecting to be rated r based off of this bit that was on twitter now with the claims of how how gory this movie is going to be and the language we often hear in these films an r rating is to be expected especially knowing that the og film i believe had to fight for like an r rating instead of the nc-17 that it was rated multiple times before it ultimately got got through with the r rating now i do have an opening kill video that i have up if you want to go check that out but i really just want to talk about the fact that the movie seems like it's going to be rated r and that's really all i have to say about scream 6 now we're going to jump into the nun 2 now this bit of news was reported back in october and i don't believe i touched on it. i think it went over my head because it kind of was just swept under the rug and filming i think was already underway at this time but anna anna popwell or anna popwell who is known from the narnia movies if you grew up on those movies like i did she was cast to star in the nun 2 along with another individual named rose downey this was reported again back in October. I don't believe I ever covered it, but if I did, I apologize. I just don't think I ever covered it once before. Also, filming on the upcoming sequel has allegedly wrapped. That's the main meat and potatoes of this video. Filming has wrapped. Uh, I haven't seen an official statement from the production, but this is an apparent rap photo that's making the rounds online. So we'll see how true that this claim is because apparently they are done shooting The Nun 2. We know that Storm Reed is involved. You know the Tysa Farmiga is back uh, now. As for as for the cat, the cast of Popwell, if I'm even pronouncing that correctly, she is starring as a character named Marcella, who will be the mother of a character named Sophie. Now, seven months ago or so, I revealed these names, and Marcella and Sophie were two of them. I also went over just some names and some plot specifics of what you could expect going into the Nun Two, based off of a, a casting sheet or a call sheet, whatever wherever it's called, that was lurking online. It's not online anymore to see, so good luck finding you have to go back to that video that i did seven months ago marcella and sophie were two of the names highlighted in this in this call sheet sophie was written to go to school at saint mary's and she becomes friends with the man named frenchie who is working uh who is who is working at the school and this must be again the same frenchie who's still under possession from valet going off of the ending of that first movie the nun 2 cannot be any worse than the first movie it just can't <laughs> but many of us said the same for jeepers creepers 4 so maybe this one will surprise us similar how jeepers creepers 4 surprised many of us but that's really all i had to talk about about the nun 2 just want to talk about those two cast members that i missed and the fact that they have wrapped filming and the fact that these names of who one of the actors are playing is the same name from a casting sheet and who they are and go a little bit more in depth into that so just to touch on the terminator series uh james cameron smoke spoke with the smart list podcast recently and he had this to say about the direction he would take the terminator franchise in it's nothing that's been confirmed so don't anyone who's mad about this potentially don't worry it's not confirmed just yet but he said this if i were to do another terminator film and maybe try to launch that franchise again which is in discussion but nothing has been decided i would make it much more about the ai side of it than the bad robots gone crazy cameron explained to the podcast now if i'm not mistaken wasn't terminator dark fate just like i know the previous ones 
it was designed to kick off a brand new three movie arc for the franchise but it sounds like these those plans again just like the ones previously they're not going to go forward and we're we're back to square one with this series one thing i can say about the terminator franchise that i am a fan of the franchise i am not the biggest fan of the franchise and i think a part of that is because of the fact that as i've matured and grown up with the series i've just seen them get worse and worse over time that's not to say that these are some of the worst movies ever made but none of them are matching those first two movies which with judgment day that again is regarded as the best out of the two the best out of the series and just these sequels that we've been getting they're not good or the follows we've been getting since judgment day they are not they are not that memorable they are not as good they're like low bar you know some would say decent some would say terrible entries into this franchise so if we get a new entry with james cameron back to write and direct that is the only thing i can think at this point that would give me any hope the linda the linda hamilton return ball that was nice for dark fate it wasn't enough because that movie also still had its had its major issues that many people had something to say about when it released so if we get another terminator movie i would love to see what james cameron can do if he is actually the one that's back to write and direct because i think that he hyped up involved with dark fate and he wasn't involved the way many of us wanted him to be so if they can capture that magic of the first two movies again then they have a hit on their hands but if not no this is just going to be another dud for the terminator series most likely even though again this is a franchise that i like i want to wrap this up by talking about the purge so i believe his name is frank grillo frank grillo who i believe plays leo in the series first introduced in the third movie he sat down with empire recently to talk about this this film that's in development not not greenlit just yet he said i had an idea in my head about how i should look and how i'm going to hold my guns all that stuff i planned out that solidified me as a guy who could carry a mid-level action movie and a director james demonico or demonico yeah changed my life i've got one more left James has the script ready. It focuses on the Leo Barnes character and he wants to direct it. We're working with Universal to see if we can pull this off before I'm in the old folks home. My only thing to say there is I would like to see another movie centered on that character. However, wasn't this series supposed to be done with five? And I think wasn't it supposed to be done with election year? I've, I'm becoming tired of the, of the Purge franchise only because... It didn't work as a TV show. It was supposed to end at this movie. It was supposed to end at that movie. Now they want to do it again. You know, if it's a good movie, it's a good movie, but I'm not really too excited about another Purge movie. If you guys are, let me know why down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.